एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्रिंट एलन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ट्रिकी कंसेप्ट दैट इज पॉइंटर लेट स्टार्ट सो दिस इज द पोर्शन वेर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट फेस डिफिकल्टीज बट आई कैन अश्योर यू दैट आफ्टर दिस सीरीज योर ऑल डाउट विल बी क्लियर सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ पॉइंटर now so as you can see that one couple is drawn over there now so let me tell you one thing if anyone ask about your home or why why do you live then what you will say you will tell him or her your address that you live in kolkata or you live in pune so your kolkata or pune will be your address so let's say that anyone is asking for your address you are giving him or her a card so that card has the address so why i'm talking about this card or you, let's say that you are sending your address to whatsapp or through insta or through facebook then you are writing that message right so why i'm telling all these thing so these things are only for clearing your conception so let's say that they were caught by the police and police are asking for their address so what they will do they will write the address in that book so or they can give that card so that police so let's say that they are giving the address to the police so that address contains what that address contains the real address of their house so this is the house so why i am talking all of these things so this thing are same as your pointer concept let's say that this is a variable so you have declared a variable equals to 10 it has a value and somewhere it has a address you don't know the police also don't know so let's say that i am that police and i am asking about the address to this couple or to this a so what this couple or this a will return us it will return us the address now in this case me or the police will be the pointer so the pointer will have the address of this couple or the variable so now let's say that we have a variable so whenever we are trying to declare any variable we are allocating the memory somewhere in a cpu or in a system now in a system we have that value that is a equals to 100 and what is this a, a is int let's say that 2 byte that 2 byte memory has been allocated for a now this a has a address so what i said earlier that this a is the couple and police is asking for the address now so what is the address of this a so the address of this a is 0x so in hexadecimal now this pointer is police so using police or using pointer we can access the address of that variable now as you can see that the pointer has got the address so for storing the address what we need we need a pointer so i think this portions are clear at first we have declared a variable and we have allocated the memory somewhere in our system what what is our task that we have to access that address now we'll tell you that how you can access that address using pointer how we can initialize or declare that pointer or how you can declare or initialize that police now for declaring a pointer what we have to do we have to use this star this star refers to the pointer so whenever you are declaring anything like this it will be the pointer so we have declared a pointer like star ptr so this is the pointer we have declared so at first what we have declared we have declared a variable this variable contains 100 now what do we have to do so in somewhere in our system we have this memory now what do we have to do we have to access this 100 so for storing the address of this a we need a pointer the what is the type of this a the type of this a is int so we need a int type pointer now what we are declaring we are declaring integer type pointer so how to declare a point pointer is clear so this is how we can declare a variable and this is how we can declare a pointer 
so this portion is clear right so how we can declare a pointer is clear now this is how we can access or store the address of that variable so can we write this that int b equals to ampersand a so we cannot write this int b equals to ampersand a because b is a variable but we can write this that is int star ptr like uh where yeah we can write this star ptr because star refers to the pointer so and whenever we are using ampersand it will return the address so this is how you can store the address of any variable into your pointer so storing the address of a into ptr so some, somewhere in a system a has the address so as you can see in my screen that we have declared a variable and this variable has some address into your system now we have declared a pointer that is int start ptr can we write uh, let's say that boolean start ptr no we cannot write because we have to store the address of our integer and at last what we are storing we are storing the address of a into ptr now whenever we are doing this what will happen in backend this ptr pointer one this ptr will be allocated so this ptr will store the address of your variable that is a please clear your concepts so now we'll say that how we can implement this pointer so at first we have to declare a variable then we have declared in start ptr then what we have done we have stored the value of ptr i think these portions are clear to you now we have declared that variable same thing so we have that variable now we'll talk about that how we can print the address as you can see that we have four printing statement so at first what we are printing we are printing the value of a so this is how we can print the value of a and when we are implementing this ampersand then what we are doing we are printing the address of a right so we can see that we are printing the address of a and at first we have printed the value of a so let's say that when we are printing ptr then what we are basically doing we are printing the value of ptr so what is the start ptr start ptr has a special significance so whenever we are using star it will go one step back and it will print the previous value so what is the previous value so the previous value of this pointer that is 100 so whenever you are writing star it will go one step behind and print the value so in pointer to pointer concept your concept will be more clear about star so i think this portions are clear now what we'll do we'll perform the code as you can see in my stream that we have written hash into stdio then we have written int main then a equals to thousand in start ptr ptr equals to ampersand a at first what we are doing we are printing the value of a then we are printing the address of a then we are printing the value of ptr which is the address of a at last we are printing start ptr which is the value of a so let me compile this thing as you can see that we have got the expected output that thousand value of a then address of a then value of ptr that is the address of a then start ptr that is the value of a so i think these portions are clear in the next video we'll talk about the pointer to pointer concept see you in the next video